Good morning, Wayne Hills. This is Caroline Chodrowski. Would you please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's Wednesday, February 24th, and a day three on our rotating block schedule. On the 24th day of Black History Month, we celebrate the life of poet Audre Lorde. She called out racism and homophobia in her work and chronicled her own emotional and physical battle with breast cancer. Before her death in 1992, she founded a small printing press to publish the work of Black feminists, and she was also named the Poet Laureate of New York. There's a new club in town, and it's called the Empowerment Club. Here are some members detailing what the group's primary focus will be this year. Hi everyone, this is the Wayne Hills Empowerment Club and we are a new group dedicated to discussing and bringing awareness to harmful stereotypes while empowering those who face bigotry and any form of discrimination. We will be holding our first official meeting on Thursday, February 25th. If you wish to broaden your understanding on things like the unjust expectations men and women face and the true meaning and importance of feminism, we encourage you to join our discussion. The meeting will begin at 1.30 and we will touch on how the club will operate as well as topics for future meetings. We will show a quick video and open a discussion about our experiences. Here is our Google Classroom code and feel free to reach out to any of the officers mentioned in this video if you would like to be added to our group meet. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at wh.empowermentclub and if you have any questions feel free to ask any of our officers. Up next, see how Hills Art Students commemorated Black History Month. This February, in celebration of Black History Month, Ms. Peller's Visual Foundations class and Design and Composition class created visual journals that centered around an artist of African descent. Visual journals are types of brainstorming or creative outlets where an artist is allowed to experiment, design, and lay out any ideas before they create a big project. However, visual journals can also be used for research, emotional expression, and conveying imagination. For this project, students were allowed to select their own African artist, do research on their lives, study their art styles, and learn how they impacted the art community. It increased the amount of awareness for African American artists and helped students feel connected to artists in a unique way. To see more visual journals, please go to artsonia.com and look for artwork under Ms. Peller's name. There are so many beautiful pieces to admire and gaze at while learning a new thing about an artist you wouldn't normally learn about in school. Interested in Winter Garden? Here's some information on this exciting activity. Hi everyone, I'm M. Witt, co-captain of the Wayne Hills Millennial Winter Guard. What is Winter Guard, you may ask? Well, simply put, it's just choreographed dance and equipment work to music. Some of the pieces of equipment we use are flags, rifles, and sabers. I personally love Winter Guard so much because it really helped me with my confidence and it helped me meet really amazing people. Hello everyone, my name is Sonia Reyes and I'm the co-captain of the Millennia Wayne Hills Winter Guard. I've been doing Winter Guard and Color Guard for my entire high school career. You don't need any experience to join the Millennia Winter Guard and anyone of any grade can join. It doesn't matter if you're an incoming freshman or a senior just wanting to try it out. Anyone can be a part of it, no experience or audition required. You'll also gain so many new friends like when you join. Everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and I am a lieutenant for the Winter Guard. I think especially now it's super important to get out of the house and relieving stress is a huge part of your well-being as well. And I think Winter Guard and Color Guard are both perfect places for that. In middle school, I really didn't have any hobbies or activities that I was really interested in. And once I found Guard in eighth grade, I loved it ever since. Winter Guard is a chance to perform in front of other people and learn from them as well. And I think it's different from all the other sports here at Wayne Hills. Hi, I'm Melissa Herring, one of the lieutenants for this year's Winter Guard season. I joined as an insecure freshman and I'm graduating with confidence and memories that I wouldn't give up for anything. Winter Guard is something anyone can do as long as you put effort in. I started out running for my equipment every time I tossed and now I'm lieutenant. Improving each week gave me something to strive for and has definitely improved my worth ethic inside and outside of guard. You get to meet and perform with great people that become a guard family, and it's a great feeling to look back at your performance and say, wow, we did this together and it looks great. We go to competitions on Saturdays from January to April. It gives you a chance to show an audience how hard you're working throughout the week. You also get to watch other guards and see a variety of interesting themes that differ from Wayne Hills' themes. Thank you for listening and I hope you decide to join guard.
To celebrate Black History Month, the Wayne Hills community invites you to screen the film Just Mercy, a story of the achievements of Brian Stevenson, a champion of anti-poverty and anti-discrimination efforts, between now and February 26 by using the login codes and passwords provided. You can also participate in a panel discussion about the film on Friday, February 26 from 1.15 to 2.15 p.m. Get cozy this Friday and wear your pajamas to school. The Student Council will be sponsoring a series of theme days as a chance for classes to earn points that will be added to the points from the food drive last fall. The first theme day is Friday the 26th and it's pajama day. Share your pictures via the link provided in history classes for 9th to 11th graders and in English for 12th grade. The spring musical must go on. Here is some news on Freaky Friday, the Wayne Hills Theatre Group's upcoming production. If you are a fan of the classic film Freaky Friday or like to sing, dance, or be on stage crew, we hope to see you at our meeting next week. This year, the Wayne Hills Theatre Workshop is putting on a production of Freaky Friday. The show dates are April 29th through May 1st and are going to be completely safe and outside. We are getting a brand new outdoor stage built to accommodate our cast to be socially distanced but still put on a fantastic performance. Our rehearsals are going to be as distant as possible, often virtual, to make the experience fun but also safe. If you're interested in being on stage or backstage, you can come to our meeting on Wednesday, February 24th at 1.30 p.m. The classroom code to join is LTUATFU. If you have any other questions, you can email J. Fleissner, S. Getsky, or B. Castagna at wayneschools.com. We are so excited to be back and performing again, and we hope to see you there. Looking for some information about this year's wrestling season? Here's a brief announcement. Good morning, Wayne Hills. My name is Shadi Ibrahim. I'm a senior on the Wayne Hills wrestling team this year. Anyone interested in joining the wrestling team this year, please join Google Classroom code NYZVDKT. Again, it's NYZVDKT. After joining the Google Classroom code, Coach Ducola will be giving out a lot of information about when the season will be starting, also what you need to do to prepare for the season. Make sure you're getting your physicals done by the time March 1st comes around so you're ready for the first day of practice. Thank you. Music heals. De-stress with some music. Here's the Tri-M Music Honor Society sharing their calming favorites. For their musical suggestions, see the description on YouTube. Hi, we are the officers of the Wayne Hills Tri-M Music Honor Society, and we have a few special announcements to share with you. Members of Tri-M have all selected their favorite calming song, and we've compiled it into one playlist just for you. We hope this can bring some wellness to your weekend. Who better to give you song recommendations than the people who know music the best? This playlist is called Calming Tunes and is available on Spotify now. Use the link below to access it. In Wayne Hills Tri-M, we have been working on fundraisers to donate money to the Mr. Holland's Opus Foundation, which repairs and supplies instruments to schools with lacking music programs. This year, we have made t-shirts and would like to make them available to anyone who would like to buy them. They are $10 each. Please message one of the Tri-M officers to order one. Lastly, Tri-M is writing letters to local nursing homes to brighten their day. If anyone outside of the Honor Society would like to participate, we encourage you to write a kind letter and send it to one of the officers. Thank you for your time. Club advisors and coaches, please send us your video announcements. Email them to ddelmorrow and jhugstraight at wayneschools.com. Have a great day, Wayne Hills, and someone will be with you tomorrow.